on in the world it's your boy big chips here listen uh i i've been getting a lot of comments and everything going back and forth with people and uh they they always want to complain about what's not working and how it's not working and i guess i just want to really speak on that a minute what that was but you know what are you doing to change your future you know if if you do something and it doesn't work what are you doing to change that the next time right and it, it's very vital because the argument that I had or it wasn't an argument per se it's just a you know the gentleman saying I've done everything possible and I can't get this to work I think it's just a washed up scam I've tried everything and you got to stop and you know I, I looked at it I said to him I said dude you've tried everything he's like yeah I've tried a thousand different ways to do this and I just can't get it to I said a thousand you've tried a thousand different ways I said name some let name list them out let's see what they are he's like well well maybe maybe not a thousand but I, I've tried hundreds of different ways to get this to work I said okay really can you list the hundred, the hundred things you did? He's like, well, I, well, I, I tried a, a couple things, and that's the key to understanding what I'm saying here is. He tried. He kept doing the same things that he's always done and always failed on, and expecting a different outcome. And as all as we all know, that is the process of insanity, right? You keep doing the same thing over and over and expect a different outcome. The problem of it is, is that different outcome is never going to happen if you don't change the ways that you're doing things, to change, change the way that you work, change the way that you think. If something doesn't work, change. If that doesn't work, change again. If that doesn't work, change again. If that doesn't work, change again. Keep changing until you get the outcome. That is how success works. And that's why there's only so many successful people is because the normal 97% of the world would rather just give up and go make somebody else rich. You get what I'm saying? The people at the top of the pyramid of the 9 to 5, they got there because they know how to change. They know how to keep going, keep doing until you get the outcome that you want. You got to first have the vision, first have the outcome, then you can come up with a solution. Because if you know the outcome and you know the why, then the how will come. If you want something bad enough, you'll figure out how to do it. Trust me. You know, the, the whole adage of, you know, you, you take a guy out to water and, you know, uh, this has been said a hundred times and it's one of the biggest motivational speeches by the hip-hop preacher, Eric Thomas. E.T. But, you know guy comes out to a very successful person he said I want it bad I want it bad and he's like well come on out into the water you know meet me at the ocean at six o'clock in the morning guy meets him out there and he's up out there in a suit and he's like all right let's get in the water guy looks at him and said dude you know I'm in a suit why am I gonna get in the water he's like how bad do you want it he's like I want it bad he's like then get in the water you know and he keeps getting in the water and he keeps saying go out a little further go out a little further and gets out to the point to where you know it's up about right out at his neck level and the way that ET tells it with so much passion it really makes it sink in this this guru grabs this dude by the head and just pushes him under he's sitting there fighting for life fighting for life I mean kicking screaming trying to get breath trying to get air and he gets up and he's swimming ashore man that dude's crazy you know what? that that is a crazy sob how the hell is you know how's that supposed to help me and the point of it is and what he says is in order to succeed you got to want it as bad as you want to breathe and that that's that's the key you got to want it bad enough you got to want it as bad as you want to fight for air if you were suffering to breathe if you had a bag over your head, somebody was smothering you, whatever. As you would, sorry, there's these cars up here about wrecked. You know, but you've got to understand, you've got to want it bad enough. 
So if you don't want it bad enough and you're not willing to change what you're doing, if you're not successful, if you're not willing to change the way that you're marketing, if you're not willing to change the ways that you go about doing business on a daily basis, even though you continue to fail, then get out now because you're not, you're never going to do it. You're never going to make it if you're not willing to change where you are. If you're not willing to change your mindset, if you're not willing to change the situation, if you don't want it bad enough, you're never going to get it. You've got to want it bad enough. You've got to want to make that change. You've got to want to make a difference. You've got to want to do... You want, you're going to want to fight for air. How bad do you want it? And that's what I asked him. You know, guy wants it real bad. He wants to be successful. He's been suffering with his online marketing. He's been suffering with the products he's selling. He's been suffering with everything. The problem of it is, is he didn't want it bad enough. He thinks he does. He thinks he wants it bad because that's what everybody tells him. But he's not willing to go past and move on and go beyond. You know, read books, listen to daily audios, listen to motivational speakers, listen to some way to build your future up and to make it bigger, brighter, and better. But you gotta want it bad enough. You gotta want it bad enough like you would want an air to breathe. So how bad do you wanna breathe? And make that how you want how bad you want your success. Right? Hopefully that's made a little bit of sense to you. Hopefully you've been able to get a little bit of nugget out of that. Because you gotta want it bad enough. You gotta want it bad enough. You have to want it bad enough. There are no other options. There's no easy way out. There's no easy ticket. There's no, I mean, completely done for you system as much as what we offer but you're gonna have to do work you're gonna have to do your part you gotta be able to take the action to move forward action is the key to opening up the door right if you don't take action to turn the knob how are you gonna open it right you're just gonna stand there at the door and wait and that's what most of you are doing, and that's what's so sad. And, that, and, that, and that's the kind of point that I'm trying to get across. Most of you are sitting there waiting for that door to open, waiting for just to stand at the door long enough, and somehow, magically, the door is just going to swing open. You no, know, that's not how it works. You're going to have to turn the knob. All right? You've got to turn the knob. You've got to make, make the decision to cut away all signs of failure. Make the decision to cut away all else everything that's going to bring you down and make the decision to go forth 100 percent success is a mindset success is a decision you've got to make the decision you've got to make it for you you got to make it for your family you got to make it for what you want to do there are no other options there are no other ways you know I turned down a very, very high paying job, which could have benefited my family, but I make more, I can make more online. I cut away all other options because now I have to do it. I have to make it work. I have to do this. There are no other options. I took everything else off the table. I emptied my cup. I poured my cup out. I emptied that thing. And now I'm ready. I am very adaptable. I am very teachable. I don't care if you're a newbie. If you got something to say with value, I'm going to listen to you. Okay? It, it's all about learning and stretching and making yourself better. So that's it. That's my rant. If you want to be successful, if you want to make it happen, you got to make the effort. You got to step across the line. You got to walk it. You don't just go from step one to the top step like that. You got to make each and every step up. 
Now, once you get going, you may get the doo -doo -doo -doo, skip up a, real fast because you know how to do it. But you gotta make the first step. Don't tell me you've tried everything. Don't tell yourself you tried everything. That's a lie. You know it is because if you had tried everything, it would have worked and you'd be successful. Keep changing until you get the result you want. That's it. One love, guys. Big Chips out. See you on the other side.